Hey there, so I got a quick question for you. Is this you? Because whoever it is that I'm tuned into right now, there's, there's a bit of a question about what you can do with your spiritual gifts. And even right off the bat, I'm kind of getting a work from home. But before I go to cut, I want you to have a little sneak a peek right here. There's something about gatherings, celebrations, bringing people together that you might find kind of interesting. You know, whether if it's like one-on-one -on -one or small groups, but there's something within your energy that may have you feeling as though you're weighed down. As I was trying to tune in, throw in a shuffle, I kept worried about what if I don't have enough time? Like, is this going to time out okay? Is there... Like, even as I'm kind of thinking into it, there is something that's weighing on my back. There's something from your past that you're still actually working through right now. That might be the reason why you're feeling this way in the moment. There we go. Ten of Wands reducing to an Ace of Wands. There is in your energy something that once it's released, it'll start dominoing in your reality to help you understand a more, I'm getting a more clairvoyant path in your journey. Wow. Holy Wands, Batman. You do actually have this very attractive quality that people admire, but I actually think that your attraction overwhelms you. I'm not entirely certain, but I get the impression that, you know, it's not as though you don't enjoy a good glow up. It's not as though you don't appreciate all the amazing gifts that you have, but there's something about people turning their attention on you that I see this flower going, Rrr. it's sort of like, I like it, but I don't. I like it, but I don't. Oh, wow. We have the devil below here. And this is a lot of very like red energy that I'm already picking up. And it sounds like there might be some old attachments to people that you may actively interact with or people from your past that you thought you've cut the cords with. There's some old energies that might be coming up to the surface, not to fuck with you or anything like that, but they are here to help you resurrect these old last little energetic cords so that you can finally start having a lot of stamina in your um, spiritual work and your ability to manifest. So if we haven't met yet, my name is High Priestess Berries, psychic medium and divine channeler. Always remember, listen to your instincts and tap into your intuition. If there's anything that I talk about that doesn't make any sense, totally fine. Do not worry about it. You're always welcome to go to my channel or check out the link below and submit your own request for your own personal anonymous channeled message. So part of the reason why I'm thinking this Queen of Wands, in, in the, this energy that you are embodying, it's sort of like if I was to sit here and pretend that you're you right now, there's a piece of me that's like, I feel good. Like, I got the throne. You know, there's there's some kind of like little either like a pet, an animal spirit, or just there's something that you have around you that just makes you feel good. Like, sort of like a, an energetic partner in crime kind of thing. But when I went to go do your pre-shuffle, I'm going to put these back into the deck. I did get a five of cups with a seven of swords in the reverse. There is actually something about what you're healing up right now that is part of your purposeful journey. Before I went to go start the camera, I wanted to get a star seed oracle just to see if we can tune in to what sort of gifts that you have ripened and ready to go. But I'm suddenly getting a, um, a globby lump in my throat and it's sort of like there are certain things that you may be having a difficult time speaking up about. Alternatively, you have a lot of ideas that you have been channeling and you're not entirely certain if it's safe or smart, especially if you speak out loud and you get unwanted attention, you know, trolls, you can't say that, or criticisms that are designed to diminish your authority. 
because at the base of the deck, and this is a card I've been getting a lot within the past week, and you have to forgive, my my dog decided to participate with this deck, but we have the uh, Dimensional Planes of Perception, number five, which is a temporary number. Spiritual strength, virtue, valor, something about what you're going through in this moment is helping you come into your actual solid spiritual giftings, because at the top of the deck, and part of the reason I think that this has to do with communication is we literally have correspondence, declaration, telepathy in the chamber of communication. You have a natural ability to read people around you. And what you may or may not be realizing is that you're actually picking up on a lot of people's intimidation of you. And it's nothing personal. Queen of Wands is one of the most complex energies I've ever had to understand because on the surface, she's fun, she's gregarious, life of the party, and just things happen for her almost effortlessly. But on the surface, if people don't have their own intuitive knowing in check, this is an intimidating energy because a lot of people like to pretend and masquerade like they're this energy. And the thing is that you're not that. And you can sense the good within people. There's something about your gifting that helps you see past the ego and you see people's you see other people's purpose. That's kind of the irony, I think, of what it is that you are trying to untangle right now. A lot of people are coming to you looking for purpose, and there's a piece of you that's going, well, what's the fucking purpose behind that when I don't even know my own purpose? So that said, before we go to cut the decks and, okay, wow, grumpy. Um, we do have three of swords, and this is a little bit of... Um, I'm going to say self-mutilation energy, although I'm, I'm not taking you as somebody who is hurting yourself, but there's something about old wounds coming back, little things that are stinging you within your energies. Because below that, we do have Eight of Cups. There, There is something going on in the baseline where you've been hurt in the past, most likely because people confused you for being fake and then you started to believe them after a while, and you still are coming out of this energy. Mm. And when I went to go pick up the um, the Lightseer Tarot, the base card, the Six of Pentacles, um, demagnetized and fell out because there's a Fool card here. And it's almost like to say with the Six of Pentacles, like it's time to start turning around where you want to spend your energy and who is worth spending your energy on. It's sort of this temporary taking a step back so that you can finally get rid of that energy and have a fresh new start. Like I'm actually, this card fell out and down. So I'm actually putting it off to the side. It sounds like that generosity needs to not matter right now because you cannot dedicate your energy to people who are fake and would think that you are fake. And spirit wants you to pivot where it is you're actually focused on right now. So um, we're going to be asking for guidance on the way through and i'm going to go ahead and cut the deck so when we look at your main challenge your primary blockage solutions you could consider wow as well as a potential final outcome and look what came back that eight of cups you know you know what these these people that just don't believe in you like they'd hate to see you go but they love to watch you leave and you're kind of incentivized there's a piece of you where you've gotten so much attention and it's been the wrong attention that you finally found it's sort of like if you walked away in this desert and then you suddenly found yourself in this haunted forest and there's a piece of you that's like I've already come this far I need to find a way to keep pressing through but there I, I you're stuck at this point so let's have a look at your main challenge right now nah yeah okay we got the tower in the verse and ten of pentacles in the reverse and a few things going on in here. That fake energy that people may have misconstrued you for not being real. Not People don't always accuse you of being fake. That's kind of the challenge sometimes. But it's more that, well, you can't do it that way. That's not how that works. If you do that, you won't be able to have a successful career, which that energy, I think, happened long before you started coming into your spiritual giftings. There's some old stuff going on, these old disbeliefs. It's sort of like you can't 
make money as an artist, or as one of my art teachers said, if you want to become, you know, wealthy as an artist, marry a dentist. Sort of this idea of, you know, arranged codependency, but y you don't want that. There's something about any kind of attachment to anybody else that is preventing you from being able to feel confident in moving forward because there's something that someone said to you that's lingering and this is a little bit of leap of faith energy that I am seeing from the tower because this this particular deck it's kind of fun I almost see the tower as though they're jumping out like boom 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 sort of like people around you just don't understand that you see the world from a more mirrored state because if you look at the chamber of communication left is right and right is left it's almost like a dyslexic energy that i'm picking up and so many people are confused by it because they're jealous they were told they couldn't behave this way so in order to make themselves feel better about their past decisions they're trying to impress that upon you so that said what kind of blockage might you be experiencing at this time <laughs> we got judgment and the star going on in your in your blockage and this is actually spirit um putting up the block on your behalf now some of this is a little bit of rejection is protection because you do need to get away from these fake energies to heal from that three of swords that we saw earlier in order to create a career of any kind let alone a spiritual one requires some level of vulnerability and great discernment to make sure that you find the balance of having your own autonomy feeling vulnerable enough to connect because you do have the ability to connect with people on a very unique level but you also have to make sure that you're not put up before the mob to be ridiculed or to be torn down i'm hearing the word doxing so there's something going on where um in order to bring in this manifestation of understanding, there's a lot of stuff that we need to look at in terms of letting go of, I'm saying the judgments of the past, which would, which would make a lot of sense because if you're telepathic and you haven't quite learned to discern the difference between your own energy versus somebody else's, you might be accidentally picking up this old, you can't do this energy from, um, and I'm getting a little bit of family because that's sort of the image that I have on the card. And there's a lot of children on here. Um, I'll see what your solution may say. Otherwise, I might clarify it because that judgment is a little bit curious. But let's see what your solution space. Got a lot of reversals today. Queen of Coins, Ten of Swords. But there's a piece of you because we have the Queen of Coins. And this is in the reverse. She can be smothery, overbearing. This is a feminine energy that has struggled with some degree of jealousy. It's actually never been directed at you. You just happen to be in the blast zone of it. It's a little bit of energetic collateral damage, especially if you had um, an adult figure. Like, it could be a mom, but it honestly, this could be any kind of feminine energy where they've tried so hard to put on this act that they can they're the provider that they're the true nurturer almost as it's almost like i see you know two mothers in a playground and both of them have children that are playing but they're both kind of passive aggressively trying to show who's more nurturing to the other like that's a really unusual one i hope that one makes sense but there's something about your thoughts like the 10 reduces to a one, a single, I'm hearing the word clerical thought. This might actually be an energy that you picked up from if you were from a religious background or some kind of, because I'm hearing clergy, clerical, some, some kind of sound of an authority figure. This could also apply if you're from a belief heavy family and you had more of a matriarchal style as well. So take it as it makes sense for your circumstance, because whatever this is, um, there's something about if you just realize how this person's operating, you realize that you've been just picking up their thoughts and thinking that they're your own. You don't need to reflect that upon yourself. It is their opinion, 
But part of your healing is to realize other people's opinions actually don't really matter. Because as you start to really hone in on this telepathic ability, the, and this is just as simple as empathizing. This could be a therapist's role. You can maybe be considering doing a little bit of like, you know, Reiki, maybe working with kids, maybe becoming a parent. It, there's all kinds of different ways that you can take this energy and purpose. Sometimes it could be for career, sometimes it's not. But part of anybody's healing journey and their life purpose is through the healing. Because it's until you've healed from the old narratives that other people try to press upon you, that you've learned how to properly suss out your own thoughts versus other people's thoughts. And sometimes it's just as simple to say, okay, wait a second, is this my thought is this what i think about the situation you know give it a few seconds kind of let that move around and if you're sitting there like yeah i'm fine like i'm i'm me i'm i'm this queen i'm sitting pretty like oh it's oh it's you and in some ways i'm noticing whatever this energy is with the cat there's something about when i'm in this energy in its healthiest healed state when you start noticing these old energies, as because you've been detached from them, it means that they're outside of you, not inside of you. So it's less confusing, but it almost flows to your feet. There is something about for you specifically to do with your feet. And I don't even think this is completely a grounding message. Now, again, I did note there's red here, red here. I was kind of amused that this pentacle has a yellow and red background. Um, but there's something about your feet that is healing. And that is extremely unique because now I'm noticing this little queen of coins feet and I'm noticing these feet walking away and... I think whoever this energy is, they've, they've been self-conscious about their looks and there's, there's some body shaming stuff that you might have also picked up directly or indirectly from this, from this old energy. So I actually kind of want to get you a teeny tiny bit more guidance. I feel like I might be leaving you on a limb. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's have a quick look at the threads of fate because there is a piece of you that's still kind of like okay do i have time to do this is there time and there's always time one of the things i have noticed checking out some of the astrology and it kind of aligns with my own intuitive assumptions about certain things 17 17 on the clock haha <laughs> um the next two to three years we're still getting back into the new normal what is our world going to look like and it might be a little bit cray cray but it's going to be good this is a time for like intense wild thinking doing things completely different like you gotten this far what do you have to lose than to try something so radically different um because once we get to 2026 to 2027 and we have clicked into where it is we would like to be in our spiritual path so like from this message we're talking like three years so you've got time like there is no pressure um the following 20 years after that, that's where the magic is going to begin. There's something about your journey up until this point is purposeful. And the next couple of years, you're going to be unpacking it to be able to reattune to what that purpose is supposed to be. But right now, your current assignment is to really work on your boundaries, both in your energetic realm and in your 3D realm, because you are very magnetic. People are going to be vying for your attention. And remember, I saw this six of pentacles earlier, they will be vampires. If you are not paying attention, this is your chance to really realize how valuable you truly, truly are. Because if you think that you lack value, you allow lack value, fake energies into you. And this is about you becoming strong without having to depend on anybody else. It's not enough just to ask people, stop triggering me, or could you please just walk away? It's another to actually feel it and feel grounded that no matter the situation you're in, you feel calm, cool, collected, and not putting yourself into this energy where you're worried about what other people will think. 
Oh my goodness. I wasn't sure if I was even going to do this reading today. After today's uh, divine guidance, like I started sneezing for three hours. You need to do a lot of energetic cleansing right now. You know, sage your space, sage the things that are precious to you. If you have pets, try to find some energetic clearing right now. You're being encouraged. It's time to clean house. At the end of it all, we do have three of coins and the lovers in the reverse. And this is where you come in to your divine queen of wands energy where, and I'm seeing the words three and six, like three to six years. Again, there is no timeline right now where you will be able to make solid choices with the people that you wish to mix your energy with the lovers is about making the choice whether that is a choice of a soulmate and a partnership but this is also the people that you wish to work with if you wish to say start a practice whether it be event planning or therapy or being an artist like moi or anything like that whatever it is that you're using to really tap into other people's emotionality to help them because you know you seem cool um you need to be very selective with what kind of people that you work with you need to know that you are working with people who are ready to learn those who have the energetic abundance to give you an equal give and take knowing that if you are going to charge for whatever services there there is and you should charge people i i went 15 years as a freelancer struggling with the idea of charging people and how much I should charge them. You are valuable. And as you heal and really start to tune into the things that could drain you, vampires are again coming back. You will be able to detect fiscal vampires, emotional vampires, as well as energetic ones. Even massage therapy can be very daunting if you do not have proper boundaries, because especially if you're doing skin on skin contact, that winds, it, that winds up putting you into a very delicate state where you could accidentally take on that person's anger, their sad, whatever emotions that you'd be working through. But if you make it your own, you take it home after that. But the reverse is true, where if you are not properly grounded, I used to have a massage therapist that, you know, they were not well grounded. They were super sweet. I liked them because I got cheap massages uh, as they were a student. But the problem is, is that they accidentally energetically transferred some chronic anxiety and I didn't know how to handle it. And they didn't even know how to handle themselves. This is about you creating choices for yourself because it protects you and it also protects your patients, your clients, your your flock, your admirers. There's something about your energy that is very admirable. It's the similar message that I got in today's daily divine guidance. Just because somebody shows up doesn't mean you need to receive everybody. You get to have your own choice. And it's not rude. It's not elitist. It's not even selfish. Quite frankly, like, you know, if you walked up to the store and you wanted ice cream, but thanks to, you know, supply logistic chain issues, there was no ice cream. You can't get angry at the ice cream shop because you can't get any ice cream because there is no ice cream. People who try to invade your energy, they are out for themselves. They are very selfish. That's the kind of selfishness that you're trying not to be. This is you being selfless. Keep bringing it back to center. Keep tuning into yourself. This is the time where you get to anchor in your true passion and your true nature. Heal thyself first, because once you are healed, you will feel very confident within your boundaries. You will be able to negotiate with challenging individuals, and you will be able to manifest the right people with the right place at the right time, and you'll be able to help build them up in turn. I'm just saying. Woo! Wow. Well, whoever you are, I really hope this helped. If you like my style, you're more than welcome to like, share, and subscribe. I'm excited to add more and more of you. Ah, it's happening! As it didn't resonate with you, like I said, go check out the link below. Submit your own thing. It might make a little bit more sense to you. Otherwise, yeah, go up to this, you know, cute little search bar up here and, I don't know, I, I, I'm saying you should look up some lighthouses. Some nice, relaxing lighthouses or uh, whatever it is here. 
technically into. Ah, good luck, everybody. Bye.